Men först ska det handla om corona, för vi är mitt uppe i en pandemi som fortsätter att sprida sig. Och i veckan så nådde smittan ny toppnivå i världen för antalet döda och smittade under ett dygn. Och här i Europa så blev Storbritannien det första landet att passera 50 000 döda. Häromdagen så fick jag en pratstund med Dr. Rangan Chatterjee, den brittiska läkaren från BBC-serien Doctor in the House. Nu kommer hans tredje bok på svenska, den heter Förändra ditt liv, fem minuter i taget om hur vi med små enkla steg kan nå stora förbättringar för både kropp, själ och hjärta. Och Dr. Chatterjee han är oroad över hur pandemin påverkar oss. Men med enkla medel kan vi alltså påverka hur vi mår och stärka vårt immunförsvar. There's a lot in the world that we can't change. Um, you know, I can't change what the government guidelines are. I can't change what restrictions are put on society. But I can control certain things, and I think generally as a human being, but also as a doctor who looks after thousands of people, I always focus with people on what can you control? Yes. You, can, you can control if you spend five minutes on your mental health today. You can control if you move your body today. You can control if you look into a loved one's eyes and spend five minutes connecting with them. And honestly, that's what I've spent my time doing is making sure... I can't control what's going on out there, but I can control a few things, and I'm focusing on that. Yes, and uh, UK, you began your second lockdown on November 5th, and there's no lockdown, as you know, here in Sweden. But Dr. Chatterjee, uh, isolation, social distance, loneliness, what does it do to us? Yeah, this is the real worry for me this year, um, whether you're locked down or not. The problem is, is that people are not interacting. They're not mingling. Humans are social animals. We always have been. Now, what does it do to us? Well, we have very good science now showing that the feeling of being lonely is as harmful as smoking 15 cigarettes per day. 15. I mean, it's incredible. People who feel lonely are 50% more likely to die earlier, 30% more likely to have a heart attack or stroke. So, Your body physically changes when you feel lonely. So I really think it was important before 2020, but it's even more important now that we find ways to stay connected with people on a daily basis. You know, before the pandemic, one in four people a year would be diagnosed with a mental health problem. That has gone up. You know, I know now in my patient population with my friends, With my own communities, I have known personally four suicides in the past four months in my own personal network, oh my which God, is what a tragedy. real tragedy. And so loneliness is toxic. But the good news is, right, and I'm always a positive, optimistic guy. The good news is there are little things that we can do that make a big difference. And that's what I try and focus on with my patients and when I'm talking to the public is, What can you do each day to combat loneliness? You know, yes. is it a phone call to your mother each day? Is it a phone call to a friend each day? Even things like, and this is what I did at the start of the pandemic, I'd go into my phone, right, at the end of the day, and I'd pick a, a go through my contacts list at random, and I'd pick a name, and I'd send a text message of kindness. So I, I remember the first one, I, I found a guy called Martin, who I've not seen in years. I said, hey, Martin, Just saying hi, I remember you helped me move in to my flat five years ago. I just want to say I always appreciated that. I hope you're doing well. And you know what? When you do an act of kindness for somebody else, not only do they get the benefits, we get more benefits, right? It so more for up. your own sake there, for yeah. that's a gratitude or gratitude, kindness. You know, you put yourself in a positive mindset, but actually scientifically we have research that this lowers anxiety. It improves sleep, it improves mood. So these things are very simple, but they make a big difference. We're used to thinking that only drugs and going to see a doctor and getting medication can help these things. They can have value. But at the moment, I want to show people there's many things that you can do at home by yourself that don't take much time and don't cost any money as well which can make a big impact. So I share that because I think it's very powerful. And that's basically what the entire book is about, is to help anyone, wherever they're at, improve the quality of their life.
Uh, could you give some examples more than the gratitude game and exercise in the home that we can do to help us get through this period of time? Yeah, absolutely. So just to recap, everything I recommend only takes five minutes. Okay, and it's all backed up by the latest science and behavior change because we know to make a long term change, you've got to start small. Okay, it's really important. And so I also believe in rounded holistic health. So I have five minute recommendations for mental health, physical health, and emotional health. Now, if we talk about mental health, okay, well, one of the most powerful things you can do is to journal, write down how you're feeling because what you are literally doing is taking the worries out of your brain and putting them down on paper and you help to process them. Now, you can either write whatever you want for five minutes, which is very effective, but I've created an exercise. If people want a bit more structure, it's called the five-step release. You simply answer five questions. And I say five minutes, this takes about two minutes to do. Okay, <laughs> question one, what's one thing I'm anxious about today? Question two, What's one thing I can do to prepare for it? Question three, what's one reason I know I can probably handle it? Question four, what's one reason wh why it won't, it's probably not going to be as bad as I think it's going to be? Yeah. And question five, what's one upside of the situation? Simple game, very, very effective. And the amount of messages I get about that game around the world, the five-step release, saying, I can't believe how much of a difference that makes. And people watching this now, if all they take from this is to try that game themselves, I almost guarantee that they're going to feel better. And uh, now more than ever, we also do have the time, Dr. Chatterjee. <laughs> well, we do have time, but you know, time has always been a problem because a lot of people say, I don't have time for my health yet we have time for two hours on Instagram and Netflix and YouTube. And I understand that, right? Yeah. But, but you know, the reason your teeth stay in good shape for your life is because you brush your teeth for two minutes in the morning and two minutes in the evening. You don't miss it out Monday to Saturday. And on a Sunday, you think, I'm going to have a one hour deep clean today off my teeth. Yes. Yeah, you do a little bit each day. And I want people to understand, just as with your dental health, if you do five minutes a day on your mental health, five minutes a day on your physical health, and five minutes a day on your emotional health, you build up these routines into your life. You know, I've got breathwork practices, I've got uh, yoga flows, I've got workouts, I've got um, so many. I think there's 40 different five minute recommendations. <laughs> and, I, and I say people just need to choose three. You just choose your favorite three. That's it. It's so simple. Yeah. The message is clear. Dr. Shadiji, there's a lot of talk about the immune system. Uh, if I use these kind of exercises, does it also improve my immune system? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll give you some hard facts on that. So when we talk about the immune system, what things can we do as individuals to help our immune system? Well, we know improving your sleep is one of the best things you can do for your immune system. So there's a type of cell in your body called natural killer cells. These help us fight off infections like viruses. Now, if you sleep eight hours a night, compared to five hours a night, you can drop the amount of natural killer cells by about 50%, right? So this really important cell goes down by around 50% if you only sleep five hours a night. The practices that I outline in my book will help you increase your sleep and the quality of your sleep. So that's going to have an impact on your immune system. Movement, right? Not extreme movement like running a marathon, but gentle movement that's moderate. We know that has a very positive impact on two things, your gut microbiome, which are all the gut bugs that live inside uh, you that is very good for your health, but they also impact your immune system. So look, the whole conversation has been over the last few months has been around, you know, reducing contact with people to reduce exposure. But we're not talking about the other side, which is how do we improve our immune system health? Right? How do we become more resilient? And I know because I've seen this over and over again that the practices in the new book absolutely help us improve our immune system health as well.
Really, really valuable words. Thank you so much, Dr. Chatterjee. And finally, to quote a certain famous British doctor, this too shall pass. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.